How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday to you? Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, I've lost a day somewhere. I went in this morning thinking it was Thursday. It's like, oh my God. This uh, Justin Timberlake show is taking a lot out of me. It's like doing a lot of runs back and forth. Down to the rehe they're rehearsing here in Vegas or the uh, setup rehearsal for the stage. Which is all the audio, all the video, all the rigging, all the lighting. We're, it's called a 360 tour. Uh, which means we're handling every aspect of the stage. Uh, that means a lot of runs, a lot of driving, a lot of setup, a lot of prep. Which is alright. Uh, tomorrow is going to be brutal. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Now I'll be surprised if I'm not working till 9 o'clock tomorrow night. That's their last day in MGM Grand Garden Arena for the setup. 
And, uh, yeah. So they're starting to tear down. And go out to, I think, Vancouver or something like that for the actual rehearsal. And I got a furball on my freaking lap who will not get comfortable. Uh, what's going on, TM? What's up, Moose? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, all right. This is it. Come on, bud. Sorry. You go bye-bye. He will not. He just won't pay attention. He's trying to get comfortable and screw up the show. Uh, we left off. Monday night, uh, we finished the video, so now we've got it loaded up into Adobe Audition. We're going to go through the audio, six sections, should take uh, a couple of days. We have everything time stamped, which is right here, so we know where everything's at. We should be good. Uh, that being said, guys, let's stop wasting time on me chit-chatting. Actually, let me get my uh, drink open first because I need it. Keeps up. I might need the jack tonight. So we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, five, five sections on this one to look out for. Uh, a couple on the next one and... Yeah, not really anything until section four. Section three, there's two, one definite. So let's see what we get. Actually, you know what? I got to do this. Uh, let's see, special vocal enhancer. Should take a few seconds. Breaking the seal soon. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I might save that for Friday night. So let's, our first one is at two minutes, 10 seconds. I don't know. Uh, this might be one of us in the background. It could very well be one of us. Uh, Let's find out. Let's let's get our normal spiel done here. Uh, and find out. Anything's possible anymore. So this is something, maybe. Uh, okay, let's go 12. This might be this might be deads. This might actually be deads. That's deads. That's for sure deads. I have taken it upon my Wow. Wrong one. <laughs> Sorry about that.
Next one's at 530. Ambient sound, nothing. Huh. Nothing. Fourteen seventeen. Hold on, go back to that. Hold on. There's an EVP we missed. You do miss me. That's a little on the crazy side. All right, let's get it saved. And that was officially EVP number 100. Just a fun question. What will sell with the highest price bath water from a hot women or holy water? Hot women. Have you not watched OnlyFans of women that bottle their bath water and freaking sell it? Guy, idiots paying $500 for a freaking vial of bath water. Are you serious? Girl pays fucking a couple cents to fill her bathtub. And makes 10 grand off of it. Makes you wonder if she's farting in the tub too. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Maybe the church should sell it instead. That's sulfur infused holy water. motorcycle I, I just don't get it
I think that's a motorcycle. Too low. We're never going to get it. I think that's a motorcycle. No, that was in the last part to sound like it was singing. That first part is a motorcycle for sure. You said that he just ended. Okay. He's usually off by the time I get it, get home then. Yeah, that's us in the background for sure. Yeah. That's us. And this looks like where the Go Dead's GoPro died the first time. We're going to get some beeps here, I guarantee it. Boom. Debunked. So 14.7. I passed it. Shit. Yes, it is. Uh, basically, I just, I just loaded the audio into Adobe, Adobe Audition, and it puts the audio, it puts the video on the side of the screen. I mean, I can blow it up if we need to a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's nothing. There's a lot of potentials and none of them are turning out so far.
Okay, the first part is deads. Who is the second? Who is the second? Uh, let's find out. Do I need to go in through and denoise? No. Who are they? Maybe. Who's that? I don't know, TM. That's you got the slam, then that very well could be an echo. It very well could be. This might be one where I have to pull a rank and say, it literally does come right after the slam. But it also comes right after Dead's talking. Oh, I don't know. Put it on unsolved. I think I'm going to. Uh, so I don't have to later. Uh, I'm just going to save it as unsolved. I'm just going to put it as unsolved. Uh, that way, I can always go back to it later and try to clean it up more. Uh, if it's trash, I throw it in the trash. Fair enough. And the next one doesn't come until 52 minutes. Pretty much the end. something huh. definitely not paranormal
There's GoPro going off. And GoPro dying. Was this the birds? Yep, it was the birds. So we had 52 minute 39 second. One audio engineer I found made a video about the model I have also with all the generation. Also, it said it was not good for low noise. I don't know anything good for low noise. I don't think we can count this one either. Yeah, I can't count that. What's up, Sarah? How you doing tonight? I also only want something with USB and can put an external mic in it and the Zoom H4n Pro will have that. Yeah, uh, Zoom H4n. Uh, I'm actually looking at the new Zoom H4n Essential. Just released this year. Uh, it's got its own phantom power. And uh, I won't go with the USB mic. I got to have an XLR mic. Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting the essential and see what happens. The problem is a mic, a boom, most of the uh, zooms, the H4, H6, H8, all have their own phantom power. They all have their own phantom power. Uh, how much battery are you going to use? And how much extra are you going to have with a mic? And a boom. Uh, that's just that much more to carry around. It becomes a pain in the you-know-what. Not necessarily a pain in the ass. A pain in the other side. We'll leave it at that. Uh, we're pretty much done with section one. Let's get on to section two. I can't tell you how many times I've thought about getting a, like a cheap XLR mic, uh, a, a Rode or a used Sennheiser or something. I can get a used mic from work. Remember, I work for an AV company. Uh, I could probably find one on on our on the sale site and get an employee discount uh, that's not an issue but is that mic going to be strong enough to pick up probably not so yeah it, it's probably not gonna pick it up 
you know, with all the Taylor Swift spit in. Yeah, it's only going to catch the P's and the D's and the B's, and that's about it. And the G's. You're not going to pick up a lot of it. So do I want to risk it for the biscuit? Probably not. I'm going to throw a couple vocal enhancers in here and we'll be on to, uh, on to section two. Okay. One more. And we only have, what, three to check out on this one. Just three sections. Yeah, with all the Taylor Swift spin in it. Problem is, she has her own mics. We don't get those back. And she buys them. Uh, if I got my hands on a Taylor Swift mic, I could probably sell that to a Taylor Swift fan for about 50 grand. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, Brent's buying a new Jeep with a microphone I was given. Uh, first one is, well, we only have two to check out on this. Evidence it was specific that, yeah. Which is not a problem for what I do. Twenty-two. Well, there's there's the ambulance. We're gonna go about there. Motorcycle debunked. Damn it. Okay, out of out of five so far, we've got one. Was you gonna stream anything live? I don't know yet. And all the I can't they don't have Wi Fi at the prison. And getting phone signal inside the prison, not easy. You really can't, I don't know if you could set up a live, I'm not live streaming from my phone. Uh, that's just, I might do it from Facebook for a few minutes and see what happens. I can always do that. I can always do it live from Facebook for 10 minutes. Uh, TM, I'm worried about the signal inside the prison. The concrete and the steel, there is not a lot of service. And you, in some areas, you're lucky to get one bar. Forty fifty seven was the next one. Uh, 
I can from other places. I can try from other places for sure. Uh, I've tried from Goldfield. Goldfield is washy at best. Uh, it used to be Verizon had the best service in, in the area. Now it's T-Mobile and Verizon has like no service. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not switching from Verizon just to go investigate. Uh, I have to see what happens. There's a couple of parks I can go to. But if I'm going to live stream an investigation, I want to make it worthwhile. Uh, depending we have to park outside the gate, you're probably talking at least 200 yards to get cable. I ain't buying 200 feet at 200 yards of care, 200 uh, yards of cable just to leave it at the prison. Like I, let me, just let me bring this up real quick. So you guys get an idea. Come on, pop up. Where we park, let me get this out of here so I can watch chat. The uh, guard tower right here on the bottom left, we park another 15 yards to the left of that. The office is probably uh, go in the doors and you go back to you see where the X is that's probably where the office is at so from here to here is a good 75 to 100 yards at least so then you'd have to have somebody out there you'd have to have a van you'd have to, I'm not that's I'd have to rent a van I'd have to rent all the equipment it's, it's just not logistically possible. I don't have the budget of Ghost Adventures. I mean, if you guys want to, if you guys want to chip in for the RV, for the uh, for the Starlink, for the computer, for all that, I'll live stream from the prison. I'll figure something out at that point. I'll run the cables throughout the prison for three days. But you're you're talking a lot of money right there. Uh, then I, I get Starlink, get a some way to connect to the devices. But once you get up in here, you're not connecting unless you're hardwired. It's it's a logistic nightmare. Believe me, I've thought about it. That sounds like get out now. That does sound like get out now. Yeah, I um, after you said that, TM, I know what you meant. It's just like live stream anywhere. A lot of the places that I investigate or have, the internet service is shit. In Tonopah, in Goldfield, in uh, Rhyolite, there's no service. Uh, Kingman, Arizona, really spotty service. I'd have to do a local park, and that would be, I mean, I can do it. It's just going to be, it's going to be boring. There's nothing to look at. What do you guys think? See if I can clean that up. 
Okay, so you do hear it. Uh, I think this one's going to be counted. noise this no I can't Okay, we're getting there. Uh, let's see if this did it. Trying to clean this up a little bit. It's, the more I'm cleaning it up, the more it's fucking turning mechanical. And that's what's bothering me. It is starting to sound mechanical. Uh, try one more thing and we're going to move on. Yeah, it's mechanical. Unfortunately, I won't count it either. Listen to it now. That's mechanical, purely. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, TM's right. TM's 100% right. Jack, come on.
So that that is it on section two on what we had markered. Uh, section three, we only had two, uh, but one was a definite EVP. Uh, we did decide on that. Before we do that, let me get this ready. Ah, uh, shit. GoPro, night two, night one. Okay. Let's get section three loaded. And this is good. Like I said, we're not going to be spending a lot of time on this because it's already, uh, already ready. We've already gone through it. We know it's there. We just have to confirm it. Uh, 40 minutes in, uh, we'll be back later this evening to speak to you and we got a response is okay. Good thing is it's a black screen. Nighttime has moved in so we can pretty much move that over. And one at 51 minutes, we couldn't make out. We had to wait till we get it in here to clean it up. Uh, put a couple in here and we'll get started. Get section three. Uh, section four has a lot though. Section four definitely has a lot. One, two. Seven, seven in section four. So hopefully we make make it up a little bit because we're still way behind. <laughs> okay, so I said forty forty one. this nothing okay we'll go through this section Uh, TM, what do you think? I post no audio clips on, uh, on social media. It would take, it, <laughs> I bait, like I said, I type everything up. Susan's not in there that I'm aware of. We'll see here in a minute. I don't know. We're going to wait here and see in a minute. That's a whisper, though. Uh, I rarely post audio clips to social media unless they're groundbreaking. Unless they're just earth shattering, then I don't even I don't even bother. If people want to hear the audio clips, they can come on the show. So we're gonna come back to this in a second. I save all my audio clips. I save them, 
I put them onto a USB and I give them to them at the prison. I let them use them for future investigators as well as the type version. I give them a clip of everything that we that I save. So if it's something questionable, I let them figure it out. I put notes on it saying, okay, clip 106, you know, building seven, timestamp it, and I'll ask Susan to go through it and just tell her if it's not any good, just delete it. If we can't figure it out and Susan can, she decides to keep it or not. So they get copies of everything. Yeah, that might have been Susan then. No, I don't work for them. No, nobody works for the prison per se. Everything from the prison is volunteer work. So what I do here is not only to share my experiences with you guys, I give copies of every investigation to the location that I investigate. So if future investigators want to know what's there, they can use it. Uh, I just help bring a lot of people to the prison to investigate. I don't, I don't work for them. I just do it out of favor. I do it out of because I love them. They, they help me out. I help them out. Sometimes. Remember, women, they don't have powerful voices like I do. If they're down the hall, it's going to sound low. If you're, de if you're in the area, you can hear them very well. You've been here for uh, the recorders and women's. You can hear them clear as day. But remember if, pause this, you're in a prison, you've got closed solid steel doors. If they're on the other side of that steel door, it's not going to come through, you know, this loud. It's going to come through about this loud. So, could be construed as an EVP, yes. But because of all the concrete and steel, it may be clear, but it's not going to be as predominant. And that's one thing that's hard about investigating the prison is the voices from team down the hall. You've, you've seen the videos from, from B block up to execution. You from B block going up to execution, you got to go through, through, through three steel doors, three steel plated doors. Your voice ain't going to sound that clear. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, exactly, Sarah. Hey exactly. Guys, we're walking in here, getting a chair. Susan. At least she announced herself making the noise. Thank you, Susan.
right up to end of the screen. We for the for for ah. Uh, only two possible EVPs on this section, from what we remember, or for what's actually logged. Yeah. Alright guys, sorry about the darkness. Uh, I don't know. I'm about 60 40 on this one. 60 no, 40 yes. No, I'm not part of the investigation, but I have enough investigation EVPs. They just bring it up, plus, I have a keen mind for it, and I'm a little bit sensitive to the spirits. What moved? What moved, Moose? The door? I'm leaning towards that myself. Those old uh, swivel uh, air shock doors, like in the old school rooms, that's, I think that's what's on there. So that might be that compression of that door. So yeah, we're gonna debunk this. <laughs> Reflection match the Yeah, that's my light. That's the light off my GoPro on that reflection. So yeah, we're debunked. We debunked it. Good job debunking. Yeah, that's the light off my GoPro. It's kind of freaky how it does it. It's almost like a flash. Yeah, that's that's odd how t how that that pop happens the same time as the flash in the window. That, that is kind of odd. But... Just count, count odd as evidence. Unfortunately. Huh. 
Oh well. Uh, that's a no. Next one's up at fifty one thirty six. Maybe, hopefully, you know, cross your fingers. Evidence, please. Not evidence. Yeah, semi or something. Definitely, definitely not evidence. Huh. We're all odd here. Yep, yep. Yep, we all odd as a cod. It's weird. Like I said, uh, and everybody knows this who uses a GoPro, and I've said this many shows. The Go audio on GoPro sucks. Unless you're using an external microphone, the audio is hot garbage. And that's being kind about it. Uh, even with mics on them, we're thinking we're hearing shit. And we ain't. Uh, it's good to go back over, like I said, we really can't do audio video at the same time. Going back over the audio is helping us learn and debunk. Because some of those, the past five or six we debunked, we would have counted that as evidence, flat out. We would have counted it as evidence, and we'd be wrong. Live and learn, guys. <laughs> Teaches me a little bit more, too. Because I, sometimes I want to do it the lazy way, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. I think every investigator does at one point or another, and you're just like, can we get through this? <laughs> Can we just get through this? But yeah, we're we're doing good, guys. We're still at 100 EVPs. Like, I think we're just going to finish out this Section 3 tonight. Uh, section 4, we've got a lot to go through. And we won't be able to do it all tonight. 100 for this season, yes. Which is good. Like I said, I had a feeling it was going to be a slow year. One hundred still a lot. No matter how you slice it on any investigation, one hundred is amazing. Uh, for as many recorders that we had spread out, to me, a hundred is not a lot, but it really is. I, like I said, I went six months one time without getting one piece of evidence. That's still, it, it's terrible when you go, when you go so long and get nothing. As an investigator, you really just want to quit. And Sarah, I know if you're still, yeah, you're still in here, Sarah. As an investigator, when you don't get evidence for a while, you just want to give up. You think something's wrong with you. Why aren't the spirits talking to me? It's just 
the way the universe works sometimes. Then finally you go to an investigation and you get more EVPs than you can count. My very first investigation, I got like 40 EVPs. And I've played them on the show before. From a veteran cemetery. Had a little bit of a dry spell after that. Went back into it, got more. And it kind of just goes like this. <laughs> it's like a fucked up scale. Up one, down the other. Up one, down the other. Stays up for a while, stays down for a while. I can count to a lot, but it will we'll take a while. Yeah. It's... Some of the best EVPs to date are still from one of my first investigations. <laughs> They're so talkative, your ears are going to bleed. You're not wrong. I said that the first, uh, excuse me, the second investigation in Nevada State Prison, they didn't want you to leave the area. They just kept yakking away. It's like, all right, well, we can, we can do this. You know, third investigation was more spread out geographically, you know, just throughout the prison. This one, not so much. But it's, we still got a long way to go. I'll be happy if we hit 200. I would be very happy if we hit 200. And that's Susan in the background. Yeah, that's Susan. 100% that's Susan. Guys, uh, somebody wanted to jump up and say hi. Get off my headphone, Jack. There you go, bud. Jack wanted to say hi to everybody. Everybody's saying hi, Jack. Yeah, it's a group and a semi.
So if all goes right, tomorrow night we will finish the audio from the GoPros, which is good. Uh, then we get back to the explicit recorders on Monday, maybe, depending on this weekend. Uh, I shouldn't have to work this weekend. Oh, buddy, I got to clean your eye off. You got some gook in your eye, bud. There you go, bud. Pause this for a second so I could hit that question. Uh, are U.S. ghost hunters better to collab than other countries? No. No. <laughs> uh, it's a 50-50 split uh, between groups that want to help want to work with each other and other groups that are just flat out in it for themselves. They're in it for the glory. They're in it for the fame. They're in it for the fortune. They want to be... Go ahead. God damn it, Jack. No, stop it. Come on, bud. Get down. Sorry, guys. Little jackass wants to freaking play with everything now. Uh, a lot of teams in this country, you offer to work with them and they want to know what's in it for them. I reached out to teams about getting in the prison. Oh, well, well what's it going to cost? You're inviting us. Can you pay for it? No. I'm inviting you because I'm giving you the chance to investigate it. <laughs> but it's... A lot of teams don't want to work with you. It's just... It's, it's sad. Too many people think it's ghost adventures. Too many people think it's, you know, ghost hunters. Too many people think it's, you know, anything but paranormal investigating. That's why I let them reach out to me. Unless it's teams that I've worked with or teams that I associate with. No. I just can't do it. And it's... The paranormal community here has almost become toxic. And I hate saying that. I don't know if Sarah would agree with me. But a, a lot of toxicity in this field. That's for me. I try. I I try to be nice to every group. Hey guys, if I have an open investigation, you're more than welcome to join. If you need anything, let me know. I'll try to help. They all want to be the next Ghost Adventures or next Ghost Hunters team or the other paranormal teams out there have been on. Yeah, they. everybody thinks they're the next television show. And yes, I have been approached about TV. My... Yeah. I've been banned from so many groups for call them out, calling them out on what they're doing, it's, I can't even freaking tell you a number. It's like, you know what you guys are doing is posting is fake. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Enough to know it's fake. Take some basic photography classes, you'll understand. Well, you're just hating that I can get evidence. Okay, bye. The first group I ever got banned from it was a team out in the East Coast somewhere they, and I've talked about it on the show they they were in a dirt basement walking around taking pictures what happens when you walk on dirt dust rises they're snapping pictures and getting the reflection off the dirt raising into the air and they're saying, look at all the spirits of the people who died here. And 
And I was like, you do, and I said it, or do you do realize you're in a dirt floor basement? You, t multiple people take steps. That dirt is going to get kicked up and you take the picture with the flash. It's going to reflect off those dirt particles. Like you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, hundreds of people died here. I'm getting a migraine. Uh, uh, yeah. And I just unloaded with both barrels. I posted photography links. I did everything. Ten minutes later, I was banned from the page. Then I just went on my secondary account and kept going. Until I was banned again. It's like, you, you can... How do I put this kindly? Uh, you can post evidence that's, that's not evidence. I've done this before and I've been called on it. Because I didn't know any better. I did not know. Hey, guys, this is what I think. Lens flare. The lens on a camera is curved. It's uh, convex, not concave. So it's going to reflect light and you're going to see that orb on the top right or the top left. Or you're going to get moisture, lens flare, whatever. And yeah, this is basics. Photography 101. Forget paranormal 101. Photography 101. And I had been in the field a few years, and I did, like I said, I didn't know. And I posted a picture, and I'm still friends with this girl. Uh, she's like, I'm a photographer. Let me teach you a couple things. I was like, what? She goes, let me tell you how cameras work. And I, I was like, please tell me so I can, you know, be a better investigator. She started explaining lens flare, moisture, concave lenses. And went through the whole spiel, you know, color settings, you know, it's like use this shutter speed, you know, the point and click cameras up to your DSLRs, your mirror and mirrorless cameras. She literally broke it down for me and gave me articles to read. And she then I went I, I went back in, I pulled down what I thought was evidence and said, you know, I had to take this down because it wasn't evidence. And I learned a valuable lesson. You know, thankfully, she's the only one that noticed. She's an actual photographer. That's what she, that's what her passion is outside the paranormal is photography. And it's, she grew up around Civil War battlefields and photographed a lot of them. So she's used to that moisture, lens flare, you know, it's like dust particles, reflection off the blades of grass, whatever. So... I tried passing on my information and my knowledge from what I was taught to other people. And, you know, I get trash for it. That's people like Sarah even said, I said, they just want to be the next Zach Bagans. They don't care who they fool. They don't care who they bullshit. It's that simple. They're trying to bullshit bullshitters. And they think it's going to be the next big thing until a bunch of investigators get together. And those people who may get a portion of a season on TV, they're going to be canceled real quick. Each their own. I'm not going to sell myself out to the highest buck. I'm not the best speaker behind camera. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about, or at least, you know, I think I do. <laughs> I'm not going to try to bullshit. And you've heard me say, if I don't know, I'll admit it. I'll go look it up and get you an answer. Yeah, it's... Let me do something real quick here. Uh... Let me see if there's one in here. Uh... There probably is. Let me pause this since there's nothing else. 
Okay, we can go through the rest of these. There's not much. Like I said, from culinary. Uh, let me get this. Hold on a sec, guys, so I can get chat back up. Right down here on the bottom right, look at the lens flare off the reflection of the stool. And that's a culmination of not having steady hands and reflection from the flash. I mean, that's completely obvious. A lot of people would come out and say, oh, look, there's a spirit sitting down. <laughs> no. I mean, fortunately... Are right in the center of the fence, right to the right of the yellow sign. You could see dust particles right there. Uh, oh. uh. I don't know. Which one, Sarah? The first one or the second one? That's the first one? That's the second one. That might be the first one. May, uh, I don't think that's a reflection or a apparition. I really don't. Number two. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's an apparition. Yeah, I don't think it is. Right in the center of the screen. And you zoom in on it. Look at the dust. The one with the lens flare. Okay, let me go back. Oh, the the gate door. Okay, okay. Eh. I don't think it is. So yeah, I mean, it's, this is a good place to learn about lens flare. Look at all this stainless steel reflecting the flash. It's ridiculous. Then most people would say they may know some evidence is BS. Or the other team is BS. I mean, look at this. You zoom in on this dust. That's an interesting dust particle. Looks like the and sign. Or that, uh. But yeah, there's lens flare right there. That's, du or not lens flare, but dust. And the next picture, it's gone. And there's, again, dust right in the lens flare and dust right in the center of the screen. Right on the bottom section, because the lens uh, convex. So, yeah. You can see all the dust in here. I mean, perfect example. You got one, two, three, four. Five dust, six dust particles. You're in a building that's, well, almost a room that's over a, or close to 100 years old. Nobody goes up here. It's dirty. It's dusty. You take a step, you're kicking up dust. One, two, three, four, you know, dust particles. Again. Look at all the dust. You got, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dust particles. Most teams would be like, ooh, look at the spirits. You got people attacking you because you're there at chow time. No, not quite. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it on that, guys. You get the idea. You know where I'm going with that. Uh, we finished section one, two, and three on the uh, GoPro for the audio. We'll continue tomorrow night with sections four, five, or four and five. There wasn't anything on six. Uh, so we got two sections left to go. We'll get that knocked out. And f what? Tomorrow's Thursday. So Friday night, we will be back on to explicit one recorder, wherever that was. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I thank you for being here tonight. TM, Sarah, Moose, anybody else lurking in the shadows, thank you so much for being here. I had a blast with you guys tonight, even though we really only got one EVP confirmed. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll see you all later.